first I chop the onions. No, first I wash my hands, of course. There are strict guidelines to be followed regarding the hygiene. So first I wash my hands. After washing my hands, I put on a pair of thin plastic gloves. Next, I chop the onions. I've been practicing. This knife is blunt. Excuse me? Right. I gotta use a blunt knife. This is for the safety and well-being of both myself and the recipient. Here, they call me Mrs. Jackson. Mrs. I don't say a word about that. My son has changed his name. He don't use either Brandon or Jackson anymore. It's the onions. They ain't real tears. I'm done crying. It's the onions. I know it's dumb, but they always make me cry. I don't know why they make me so sad. My grandma's house always smelled of onions. Cooking onions. When I cry, I, I like to get my hands wet, to cry on my hands. Then I put my hands inside my mouth. This feeling of eating up your own tears makes me. I know it's dumb, but they always make me cry. Next, I prepare the meatballs. When I'm cooking up the tomato sauce, that's when I prepare the meatballs. For the meatballs, you need meat, egg, and a little flour. I like to take a little steak sauce and a little pepper and I roll the balls in the steak sauce in my hand. I like to add a little something of my own to the meal, you know? Something of myself. Oh yes, meatballs is what we'd have. Just like mama used to make them. Except sometimes, like maybe once or twice, sometimes I'd have to hold on till school. Mondays, I used to chew my hair. To tell the truth, I used to get the ragu sauce ready made, because you can just eat it cold. When you run out of gas for the stove, you can just eat it cold. 
They got plenty of gas here. I'm sorry, I forgot to say the meal includes an appetizer. You get three courses like a real good meal would be. The appetizer is a kind of a wiener. You know, a hot dog. Lemons in the lemon pie. The dessert is lemon pie. Brandon loves this lemon pie, apparently. Has to be this one. It's not one of my recipes. They gave me this recipe here. It's mentioned on his website. He does have a website. He got a lot of friends. Don't know what they talk about. Since he come in here, he become some sort of a Christian. I try to do the same, but they say you gotta let him in your heart. I tried. I only read his website once. Here, some of it is Bible things and something about figs. I noticed that part especially. Like a tree that casteth her untimely figs, the stars fall upon the earth. Don't that sound pretty? He say a lot about things he don't speak like to me. He mentions the lemon pie they make here. He don't mention my meatballs, but he says he prays for me. To make the lemon pie, you use lemons. Real ones. Lemon pie is the dessert. You gotta scrape the yellow off. I almost think it smells so clean. Like Ajax. You use sugar. And you use eggs. No, I may not touch the food in preparation. But as a gesture of goodwill, I may make a second batch. As long as it's ready for the specified time. At 5 p.m. I set a timer. It's between seven and 10 minutes. This is the hardest part because I know the time has been counted. They weigh Brandon in pound for pound every week. He has his hair shaved off. He's maintained a healthy body mass index, average for his height and build. They weigh him in on the scales every week, pound for pound. 
His website tells me the soul weighs 21 grams. That's the difference of what you weigh when you're dead to what you weigh when you're alive. That's the weight of a human life. How much does a meatball weigh? baby, my son, formerly Brandon Jackson, has to take his last meal at 5 p.m. He's to be executed in the early hours of the morning by a lethal injection of Sodium thiopinyl, five grams. This will induce a state of unconsciousness intended to last while the other two injections take effect. Pancuronium, a hundred milligrams. This will stop all muscle movement except the heart. This causes muscle paralysis, collapse of the diaphragm and would eventually cause death by asphyxiation. Potassium chloride, 100 milligrams. This will stop the heart from beating and thus cause cardiac arrest. Death should occur within seven to 10 minutes. On the website, they put a photograph right next to where they put his name in capitals. It does say his real name, though, in small letters. It says, formally Brandon Jackson. Brandon Jackson's inside of two little curved lines called parentheses. like two cool hands and a pair of hot, fat, little cheeks. One each side. Thank you. 